So here is question 10 from the intro quiz. And it says that they're going to test my ability to enter math information using Canvas. It requires that I use the math equation editor. This is a description of what that icon looks like. And what am I supposed to do in this question? I need to produce the given math equations using the math equation editor. And then this is what I'm supposed to make. Okay, great. Let me get started. Uh, the first one, A, is looking like um, the factorization of this difference of two squares x squared minus 4 super let me open up my math equation editor oh here's the button that looks like the square root icon and the tooltip says insert math equation so let me click it awesome <clears throat> and I will type x squared minus 4 equals zero. That's what they asked me to do. How did I get that little squared up there? I used shift six. The caret symbol is what it's called. Right? What keys did I press once I got into my math equation editor? I pressed X and then I pressed shift together with six and what did it give me? It gave me this symbol. I pressed a two. I pressed the right arrow to get out of the exponent. I pressed the minus key. I pressed the four, I pressed the equal, I pressed the zero. And it made all of that stuff. Okay, well then the next line of that part A was for me to factor that polynomial. So I will open a set of parentheses and press x minus 2 and then close the parentheses and then open a new one and x plus 2 and it equals to 0. Alright, that's what that second line right there looks like. And then the last line is for me to list out the solutions and those solutions were plus and minus 2, so I will open an equation editor and say that x equals 2 comma minus 2 because that is what the original thing up here looked like. Super! Uh, now I'm on to part B. Part B uh, is this linear equation 500 equals 100 times 1 plus x so I will open my equation editor 500 equals 100 times 1 plus x I'll go to the next line the next line had for me to divide both sides by a hundred. Okay. So, when I press the divide key, looked it make this it made a stacked fraction, but they weren't wanting me to make a stacked fraction. I'm going to skip part B because it's pretty simple. Let's look at C. Uh, 
in C, uh, I just have the one equation to put, but it's a little, a little more complicated of an equation, so that's okay. Here's my math equation editor. All right, and uh, let me look again at what that equation was. It was uh, natural log of x minus e to the x cubed. Okay, so they want me to do d over dx. I just pressed the divide key on my keyboard and it made that fraction. How handy. d over dx, that means the derivative. And this is the derivative of some kind of something or another that you will learn soon enough. Actually, you should know what the natural log of a function, the natural log of x is. It's a logarithm. Notice that when I press L, let me type uh, L O N, and it's all italicized. But if I press G for log, oh look, it becomes upright. That's because log is a function. Just like the natural log is a function. Upright text. Natural log of x. And I think it was plus e to the x to the 3. I pressed my right arrow key twice. I'm going to go ahead and click done because I can't remember the rest. I know there was at least an equal symbol here, so I'll just press done. Okay. Uh, it was supposed to be a minus, not a plus. And for some silly reason, they wanted a parentheses around the x. That's all good. So we'll just edit our equation. I click it, and I click edit. So I'll come back here, make it say minus. They wanted some parentheses around this, so I will highlight it. I put my cursor right there. I press the shift key. I press the left arrow one time, and it highlights that one character. Now I can press shift 9, and it will start me a parentheses. Whoops. I was expecting it to make a parentheses that went all the way around that X, but that's okay. So there's my corrected form. And the rest of this needed to say one over X Uh, minus 3x squared times e to the x to the 3. Okay, it matches. We are all good be honest with you this one up here is actually not not as correct as this one that I have written because look at the orientation of the parentheses on the one that was given those parentheses are short they should not be the parentheses should stretch out like mine have done If I want to do equation D, what am I going to need to do? I'm going to need to open the equation editor. Now that theorem, or that, that equation that you saw is a famous, famous theorem from calculus, and you, we will study it. It's the fundamental theorem of calculus. And they want me to do the integral 
from A to B. So I will click this symbol. The stuff that goes here is not an F. This is me pressing the F key on my keyboard. That's different from this symbol. We want to do the integral up to B, but starting at A. I press my right arrow key to get out of that. We're integrating what? The function f of x, and it should equal to capital F of b minus capital F of a. Do the whole equation in a single equation editor. Don't do it a little piecewise. Don't get out of it to put a parenthesis or a number. Do everything for the whole equation in the equation editor. 